is up guys it's a wanted turtle coming back with another pokemon video um if you haven't seen the last video we did definitely go check it out um we got a massive poll uh, basically the best thing we could have hoped for and because of that we're going uh basically we're going charizard hunting hardcore we got 12 or no we got five burning shadows five unbroken bonds packs we're going to look for as many charges as we can but first we're going to talk about some recent news that dropped um about some new stuff that's going to be in the next japanese set miracle twins and will be in unified minds which will come out i believe in september and so let's quickly shift over to as always as always we're going to pokebeach.com um where we see all of our latest news and as always big thanks to water pokemon master for keeping us up to date in the latest in uh news in the pokemon tcg uh so there's a bunch of new cards announced we're gonna go very quickly um night city it's a new stadium uh essentially uh dark po darkness pokemon have no retreat costs pretty cool but as far as like spoilers go not super exciting um mega sableye tyranitar it's very interesting that the mega in, in, ideas coming back although it is a tag team um looks awesome we're not going to go too deep into it because honestly i don't think he's that good but that art looks amazing and then we're going to start with this <laughs> Slowpoke psyduck um as far as like tag teams go this is like i feel like a troll a troll combination where like if you're have like a, a battle and you know it's like all right we're doing two and you throw your two pokemon and then your opponent throws out a slow poke and side you're kind of just like bro what are you doing <laughs> uh however this card is actually pretty good and it kind of has a uh kind of a built-in engine or can have a, an engine that can really work so for its attack so 250 hp um and it's a tag team so for water water tossing splash it's 40 40 times damage uh discard any number of supporter cards from your hand and then you do 40 damage for each supporter um so that's kind of a high cost like you know how many supporters can you possibly have to discard uh which is true but we'll get into that uh we'll talk more about that in a second uh and then the gx attack is excitement time gx for two waters flip a coin if heads this attack does 100 more damage if you have at least six extra energy attached that's a lot um flip 10 coins <laughs> instead <laughs> and do a hundred more damage for each hand <laughs> everything about this uh pokemon is very i feel like it's very troll <laughs> reminds me of stun fist to be honest all right so let's talk about that kind of like the built-in engine to be honest that gx attack it's it's funny but uh i don't think it's that serious uh here we have lapras um pretty cool art we see misty in the background which is cool um proportions of this lapras are kind of weird but um the important thing here is the Mermaid Call ability. Once during your turn before you attack, you may search your discard pile for a Misty's request, show it to your opponent, and then put it to your hand. Uh, and then it's attack. It doesn't have an attack, but that's not really relevant here. And Misty's request. So I feel like this is going to be a very sought after card, especially the full art variety of this. Um, I feel like this is going to be one that a lot of people will be searching for. Um, so Misty's request. Um, search your deck for up to three supporter cards reveal them and put them into your hand um so what this means is that for the slowpoke psyduck um you know you can use misty's um on your first time you can use misty to get three more misty's or whatever three more supporters use lapras to bring back your fourth one and then use psyduck to dump all four at that point you're doing 160 damage um i would say the only downside is this does water water it feels like double colorless energy that would be amazing you can just kind of do that turn one so oh, it's not it's can't um you know it does you need do need two energy but it's still very strong and essentially it would be easy to reproduce that where the next turn you just use lapras again pull back your misty use her to get more energy supporters to discard and you constantly do that and it's kind of like your engine has is based on supporters that kind of refill themselves versus like energy or something like that so it's a pretty cool engine um and i do really like the uh how they're kind of doing the art for like the trainers uh they did a similar thing with brock where they kind of i don't know what the the middle ground between like chibi and like normal i feel like but that's what they did with the uh re new arts for brock and misty and i feel like they're really nice uh so really looking forward to that i feel like the full art supporter of misty's request will be a very sought after card um so something to look forward to in the next set and we're definitely going to be opening up some of those that uh miracle twins on this channel so definitely look forward to that all right guys um 
At this point, let's get into our hunt for Charizards. We're looking for the Rainbow Charizard. We're looking for Reshiram uh, Charizard Tag Team. Let's get into it. Once again, if you haven't seen our last video, <laughs> definitely go check it out right now. Um, I still can't believe we got the card we did. So because of that, we're going for hunting for more Charizards. We have five packs of Burning Shadows, five packs of Unbroken Bonds, 10 shots at pulling a Charizard. Let's see if we can't make another miracle happen. We're starting with Burning Shadows. And yeah, definitely um, the Burning Shadow side. I, we have actually pulled a couple Charizards, but they are just the regular GX variety. Um, and then uh, and as far as the Full Arts, while we didn't pull one, uh, we have seen a bunch from the uh, collection box, but that does come with a full mo promo Full Art. So for our first pack, we have a Reverse Turnator, which is pretty cool. And then a Malamar Regular Rare. So nothing crazy there, and maybe we'll alternate between. Unbroken Bonds, here we go. There are still some um, GXs that have continued to elude us in Unbroken Bonds, but to be honest, I'm, I'm cool with that. <laughs> we got everything that we wanted from this set already. At this point, we just want as many, um, you know, Rishiri and Charizards, uh, Whimsicott's a good one, Dedenne, even the, I feel like we pulled this a couple times, um, ooh, Zero Aura, not a great card, but it looks really cool, um, the Dedenne, the, I'm, I'm starting to feel the Whimsicott, we talked about a, um, deck that is actually kind of like, kind of competitive, it is competitive in PTCGO that features Whimsicott, and I was really happy to see that. And uh, while I'm definitely always happy to see my, the one I had my highest hopes for, Muck and Alolan Muck, I haven't seen him be too successful so far, but I'm still, still holding out for him. All right, let's see. We got a Grimer, Hoot Hoot, for the reverse, and then a Scolipede. All right, so no Charizard so far, but we're not giving up. Here's a Rishiram Charizard pack art. Maybe that'll give us some luck. As always, guys, um, if you do want to support the channel, you can simply hit that like button down below and let me know what your thoughts are on some of those um, cards in Miracle Twin that we were talking about. Um, definitely looking forward to hunting for that full art Misty. Um, yeah, I think they did a really good job on the art, not on the Brock and the Misty. All right, let's see, we got a Bell Sprout. Reverse is a Tangela, and then we have a Kingler. Yeah, Kingler as a as a rare. Trying to think like, oh, imagine a Kingler GX. That sounds so intimidating, not. All right, on to, back to Burning Shadows. All right, we got a Fairy Energy, Electabuzz, Noctowl, Simipor, Charmander, Porygon, Meryl, Hootoot, Rhyhorn, a Toxicroak for the reverse, and then a terrifying fish that is Bruxish. That's one of those things that's in the deep ocean and you never really want to see because they are absolutely terrifying. Back to Unbroken Bonds. Alright, we have a Fighting Energy, Chip Chip Ice Axe, Samson Oak, Janine, Gligar, Mistrevious, Glammeow, Growlithe, a Ghastly, a Reverse is a Sin. I feel like we get like a lot of the same reverses. And then a Raichu, regular rare. So, so far nothing too good. We still have four packs left. I feel like this set is really good. Um, it kind of opens some interesting possibilities as far as deck building goes. Especially that Porygon Z. I was really happy that Porygon Z existed just to make um, the Whimsicott deck work. Alright, back to Burning Shadows. Let's see if we can't find something good in here. Togemaru, Krogonk, Panseer, a Magikarp. He always looks like, um, I can't remember what those Japanese like, they're like kind of like cookies, kind of like a big thing. Um, Alright, for our verse we have a Wimpod, and then, ooh! <laughs> Alolan Muck. Um, this one I would prefer to have pulled in Unbroken Bonds the versus the Burning Shadows one. But Alolan Muck, always very cool. 
Um, as far as the Alolans, this is probably by far the most creative one because how it's like all these different colors and stuff like that. Uh, all right, very nice hit there. Whoa, so we did not get shut out out of this opening. Really happy about that. That never feels good. And right now, guys, we are on a super hot streak. Uh, and I don't want it to end. Um, we won't get shut out, so that that's for certain. Although I think I would want, I would like one more hit to say that our hot streak is continuing. We got a Tentacruel, a Whooper, Cottony, Venonet, Meowth, Geodude, a Rurfit, uh, Reverse is Eradicate, and then a Chirum. What is this call for? Oh, I think we did that last time. Okay, two packs left. Here's our last pack of Burning Shadows for this opening. Grass Energy, Simisir, Kiawe, Mount Lanakila, Lediba, Caterpie, Sandy Gas, so strange, Venipede, a Porygon 2, and then a Lolan Radicate. That's one of my least favorite ones. Alright, last pack. Let's get one more hit to keep the Ultra Sizzling Hot Streak alive. Can we do it? I have faith, guys. You guys ready for this? We're going to keep our streak alive right here. We have a Darkness Energy, Toracat, Energy Spinner, Charger Bug, Ekans, Carvana, Litten, Clefairy, Seal, Aru, Melmetal. I'm not sure if we've seen Melmetal yet. Uh, once during your turn, before you attack, you may you may discard Pokemon from your hand. If you do, heal 100 damage from this Pokemon. Oh, okay. Uh, Melmetal's it's actually not bad. Um... Especially with that heal. Oh, discard a metal energy. But the heavy impact just cost is way too high. Uh, ooh, guys, we did it. All right, the streak is still alive. We are just doing so good lately. We're going to continue it right here. Ready? One, two, three, boom. Oh, Blastoise GX. Very nice. This is another one um, that I feel like is uh, a very good card. And not just because it's Blastoise, I feel like he actually can make it work. Uh, so Solid Shell, very solid ability, just 30 damage less. And then Rocket Splash, shuffle any amount of water energy from your Pokemon into your deck. And then 60x damage, that's quite a bit. And then the Giant Geyser can really set that up. So, we managed to keep the Hot Streak alive. Um, we did get two solid pulls, no Charizards, but that won't stop us. We're going hunting in the next probably the next video <laughs> as well so definitely stay tuned for that um as always guys thanks for watching if you want to support the channel simply like comment and subscribe all down below and thanks for watching i'm moana turtle and i'll catch you guys next time peace